And we're back. Next car up, we've got this beautiful, whoo! Let me put the tape, some tapes on the uh, number plate. Now we've got the number plate covered. Welcome guys, we've got this beautiful A35 in. Let's have a look, a look quick look around. Look at it, look at what's stain my glasses. There. Something here has peed me off, all right. Yes, and I do look rough. I do, I know I do. After this is done, this is a two day detail. As soon as this is done, I'm gonna try and go get a haircut. Let's keep going. And here it is. So, what a beautiful thing. It's got less than a thousand miles on the clock. I've just cleaned it up. All right. Let's get to paint correcting. Now, what we're gonna do in this one, if you guys look at my IG uh, TV, and I'm actually gonna post it on YouTube as well, so it's probably gonna be somewhere around here. It's gonna be called What I Offer, something like that. Um, we're gonna do a new car polish on here. So what that means is we're gonna enhance what's already there because there's not a lot of um, swirls and scratches on this, but what we can get is the most amount of gloss out of it. So we're gonna do that. We might have to do one or two areas a bit deeper, might have to, but probably not. Let's see, let's see how it goes. Let's start off with um, the drying. We're gonna go on to uh, we've done the fallout outside. We're gonna go on to the tar removal and then clay bar. Let's get it. Ooh, in the bay. So I found out why the client wanted me to um, paint correct the car. Essentially, he had gone to a car wash of sorts and that's not meant to say urbo. That's meant to say turbo. Um, and the car wash had destroyed the tea completely. That like is full enough. Let's have a quick look on the other side. By the way, I'm taping up. Let me know if you guys like taping. I, I personally don't. Genuinely don't like it. But um, yeah, so that's what, you, what it's supposed to look like. Obviously it's zigzagged, um, but it's not. It says Urbo. Um, looked into it and found out, you know what? There's better options out there. There's better people to look after your car essentially um, and he found me and that's what we're doing so right now I'm just taping up and um, we've got done with the tar and clay bar that's just straightforward I don't really want to you know waste it waste you guys time with it but um, yeah happy days let's get to it right I just noticed that the number plate was slightly showing me through the blue um, M3 tape, so I'll put some black tape on it. Let's carry the tape. So having a quick look at the paint, there's a few things. One, you can see some defects, as you can see right there, but pretty much it's pretty decent. Now you can see those little dots. You see those little dots? Those dots are essentially um, where the paint has cured. Um, what that means is, is they look like little volcanoes. So, you know, protruding outwards. Um, but in a volcano, you get lava coming out. But in this case, because the paint is curing, you get air coming out. So it's essentially, it's like an air bubble in a way, but the bubbles already come through. So it's not, you know, it's, it's released. Anyway, let's get started. This is, by the way, this is the perfect time to get your car coated. Less than a thousand miles in this car, manufacturers warrant that they need to be broken into after, well, well let me put my words actually properly. Manufacturers recommend that you drive them for up to and more than a thousand, so essentially a thousand miles, and then they're broken into. But officially, I'd say drive them for a thousand, a thousand miles more before they're fully broken in. So in that thousand miles, you need to be, first of all, first and foremost, you're supposed to do this anyway, but you always drive the car warm. You never go beyond certain revs, etc., etc., because again, you might get Issues with the engine warping, this time you have a piston problems, and so on. Anyway, long story short, before she's broken into, she needs to be protected, and that's why I'm here. Let's get started. So, as we go along, this is where we are now. This is beautiful because the, the, it's just such a wide, let me get it all in the picture, it's such a wide um, bonnet. I've literally squared it off. Eight pieces, without the edges, obviously. Um, yeah, it's beautiful. Let's keep going. 
Now, while I do this, I just want to talk about the origins of the car and so on and so forth. This is the A35 Mercedes-Benz AMG. It is the A45's small brother. However, it is the rest of the A-class's big brother. This is pushing about 306 brake horsepower, I believe. Um, furthermore, this car in particular has been driven down by a gentleman from We Are AMG. Um, he's an AMG specialist. He drove it down to get it ceramic coated, uh, corrected, ceramic coated, um, and the client will be picking it up. The client is what is who directly spoke to me, and we are AMG obviously recommended to me, uh, recommended myself to the client, and um, yeah, that's that's basically it. Uh, massive shout out to those guys. Massive shout out to Amir from we are AMG for sorting it out. They are all AMG specialists over there. Um, they've got it's a pretty massive team actually. They've got a few um amg specialist guys that only deal with amg cars and they've got a few photographers managers and so on and so forth um but yeah let's have a quick look on the underneath the light let's see where we are at i really should get some type of videography camera or something along those lines you can see there see those bumps you can see the hook the, the the spots there and you see here there's no spots it's very important it's very very important sorry i pressed the um off button by accident so why why did i say it's very important because if the surface isn't smooth you don't get the right connection between the coating and the clear coat um you might end up with gaps air bubbles a bunch a bunch of things i mean if you're looking at it two flat surfaces touching each other it's always going to be a nicer fit rather than i don't know like a one surface is you know curved like like that and then the other surface is flat it's not gonna it's not gonna sit nice um sorry about the whole hand movements but essentially that's it let's carry on dots we don't want those dots let's keep going so we're slowly but surely getting there today's the second day and um let's get to it we've got our fender left just got done as you can see this polish residue there just got done with the door let's keep going so so give me a few seconds let me quickly tie this all area up and I'm gonna walk you around. Welcome back. So long story short, I did more than just clean. I cleaned the area up, but I also coated it as well. I've coated it in a five year base, base coating, giving it UV protection, scratch resistance, and so on and so forth. And a top layer, 18 month hydrophobics uh, protection. The hydrophobics, obviously, self cleaning capabilities, and so on and so forth. Long story short, she's all protected. Let's have a quick look around at this beautiful specimen of A A forty four A thirty five. Excuse me. She's beautiful. Let's go. She wasn't tricky at all. I mean, we went with a very light polish. We didn't go nothing crazy. What? What a beast! What a beast! I need to find out what this red is. Uh, the color red. What's it called? Let's have a quick look around. Beautiful. Now next up, we're gonna do a interior detail. Um, vacuuming and what have you. If I do, if I didn't mention before, see tire dressing. If I didn't mention before, I'm gonna mention it now. This car was actually dropped off before the client can come pick it up. So the client got in touch, said X Y Z. We worked together with guys at We Are AMG, and we got it done. If you guys need any Mercedes Benz, um, anything to do with Mercedes Benz, buying them, selling them, etc., etc., especially we uh, uh, AMG stuff, get get at these guys. They're based out of Lakeside Mercedes Benz. They're just the best guys to, to talk to about this stuff. I mean, even just 
basic, basic knowledge. I'm actually going to call him now and just find find out what this car is. Um, what, what, sorry, what color this car is? For all those that wanted to know, this is called Patagonia Red. What a beautiful thing! I think Patagonia is somewhere in South America. <laughs> 